Hey guys and girls, in this course video today we're going to go over specifically how to get the font family and the font size from the PSD. And I'm going to give you a little general over of just how to use um, Photoshop and little stuff on there that we're going to use some quick tips and quick um, tricks that we're going to use. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to um, pull up our Photoshop file. If you're using the one that I provided to, the, to um, follow along, you can just click that one. I actually have it open already. So we don't have to waste too much time. When you first get there, um, you're basically going to come out and you're going to start right here. Um, I'm closing some of these tabs off right here. But you're going to start right here and then you're going to see some of the stuff on here. First thing you want to do when you come to the thing, come to the page, is that you need to know how to zoom. So you want to use control, control, and plus. Control and plus will allow you to zoom. And then control and negative will allow you to zoom out, zoom in. So we're going to zoom in so it gets takes up the, kind of the whole page. And then you're probably thinking when you come to the site, um, what are these blue lines? What are these um, red, basically the red portion? These are the grid system right here. We have a grid system on here so that we are able to um, be able to, to create, when I created the actual design to be on here, is for me to be able to create the design and be able to um, do it in Bootstrap's 12 grid system. So it looks the same. So when I create the elements, they match up. It's one thing you're going to want to talk to your designer about, or if you are a designer, you're going to have to work on, is actually creating it with these guys to be able to match everything up properly. So that's what I started off in doing right there. Um, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove this one, which is kind of our main grid system right here, as you see. We're going to remove that one, and then we're going to come up here and we're going to move these, and this is underneath, um, let me go to it, views right here. Oh, no. These are underneath views right here. We're going to do go to clear guides. And we have a clean image now. So the first thing we're going to do right here is we're going to go over to right here where it this right here has our um this right here has the text right here. We're going to click this, and then we're going to go over to our first element, which is going to be our navigation. Click on navigation, and at the top it'll tell us what we need to know. So we'll add a little class for each one over here. We we'll do dot nav which is you know is this is going to be css put the brackets and then we're going to do um font family and all these font families will be the same um for the most part so we don't really have to worry too much about it so let's do this one let me do latos and then um we're going to do two as well we're going to do latos bow and then um we'll do font weight is another um, CSS class we're going to use, and this is going to be specifically for um, for the actual the thickness of it and the weight of the actual uh, of the actual font. So we're going to do bow. And we're going to just put this down here so we know. Um, we might change this, how this is later on, but right now this is what we're going to do. So we have our navigation, and we see our navigation is that's the font and that's the size. We edit the size now. Then we're going to do font size. So we put that in, and the font size is 13. Thirteen pixels. Lock that part in. Okay. And basically everything else is gonna be very similar to this right here. We're gonna go back over to our right here. And we're gonna go back into the next portion. So we have the navigation. We have the nav font. So I'm gonna make that correct. Nav font. Remove this dot right here. We don't need that. Use a dash. So we have a nav font. That's the top part. Then we go to the next part, which is going to be this right here. So we're going to our hero, um, basically our hero one element. So let's go, um, hero one. Let's do, um, because I hit a hero one right here. And we're going to use hero one. And then we're going to come in and add that on there. So basically, this, um, Selected right here is for the H1 tag, and it's for um, when combined with the hero, um, with the hero class right here. So let's do hero um, text, and we'll use that later part two as well. So then we got to figure this out. So we see that we have the same. It's basically the same setup right here of everything besides the actual. Um, this is actually font size. So let's go into here. We're gonna copy and paste this over because we already have that. And um, so we have that. So go back on this part right here. Okay, so basically you know that this is the font. 
this is the weight this is the font size and then this is if it's using strong or what is it kind of using right here but that's, that's something else for it we don't really need to worry about and this is if it's going to be center or what exactly is going to be we can have that too as well but for this we really don't have to worry about that so it's going to change this weight of this size to 50 okay and then we're going to do the same thing for the next one so next one is going to be um go back over here click this go underneath it push this right here just to let it go and it's going to be the sub right here so this right here might take a little bit to click and get into there okay now we're into it I'm gonna take a little bit longer than what you call it so let's go in this one let's do um this is gonna we're gonna put this as like a a header um see which one should we do we're gonna do a header four in this one and we're gonna do um actually we're gonna do a small small we're gonna do hero text and these are these are not the exact CSS we have to use but this is what we're gonna use just to keep this together and we're gonna to copy over it everything we have the same right here because majority of that's gonna be the same um, we do need to um, bring this back over here and go to regular so if you see that this is regular so basically we're going to move we're going to change this and this right here make sure you don't add the actual um capital letters you know there's no reason really to need those in there it makes it a little more difficult to reference them and then we're going to change the, the the pixel to this right here too um doing this to 15. so basically for the whole thing you just is basically what we're going to go through and do right here I'm going to walk you through this right here and figuring this out so you can learn the preliminary. But if you already have this, you can skip and go to the next video and you can learn more. But let's go ahead and get through this part right here. So as you see, I select there. The next one of these right here is going to be, um, we're going to do this button right here. So it's going to cancel this. Get into the button section right here. The button section is actually the exact same. Um, let's copy this over. And let's do this right here. And then let's come back over here and change this to button. And then um, the next thing we're going to work on after that, we're going to do this section. And then we're going to do every other section coming down. I'm going to basically make it through this second for section right here. And then I want you, for you guys to get it. Then you guys can go through and repeat the same process and get all of them down. Um, so it's going to cancel out of that. So this one is going to be a little bit trickier um, on this part. So let's go back through. Cause you have to you have to get this part here and basically this is going to be um this is our experience section so let's cancel out of this and this is going to be our experience section and so let's we're going to call everything in this portion everything in this section right here is going to be called it's going to be called experience because um, this is what the section is right here but we're going to move this capital E at the top and then so we're going to do that so let's do um this first part right here because this is what you call it um let's classify this right here as we're going to do um capitalize this as years so okay, that's going to be the um one we use so we need to get this one right here and then we're going to go ahead and cancel out of this right here go back to this big one call it big ear or um main let's do number text actually let's do year number okay okay year number and this is the experience one, which all these gonna have to have that class onto it. But we're gonna write where it has to have that class in this class to identify everything in there. Um, so the next thing is gonna be we're gonna grab these out here. So we realize that it's Lados, it's bow, and it's a little bigger. So we're gonna just copy this same one right here. Okay. Make sure we copy it correctly. 
of this one. And you see, it's basically a similar thing, but this really helps out when going through this if you do this at the very beginning so you don't have any huge issues later on. And this is a step that I really wouldn't recommend actually skipping. Um, then we're going to go to the next one, which is going to be, um, this is a lighter version. We're going to call this um, Faded. So we're going to exit this right here. And we're going to come back into this. Well, not the crop feature. Come back out there. Um, don't crop. I'm going to come back into this right here. And we're going to do the gray version. And you can see all these are using the same font. So we're going to clone, basically copy this. And then we're going to change this to year gray text. Yep, and that's that part there, and then we're going to put all the stuff for this too as well. So this is going to be um, basically the same one as, as the ones before. This is regular, so we're going to copy one of these. And then we're going to, um, actually we already have it there, but yeah, so we're going to copy this one though, because it's already there. And then we're going to bring this this over. And then we're going to move this part, because we don't need that. And then... um bring these over because we need this portion and you can easily just type this out too as well I'm just not one of the fastest typers so I copy and paste is a little bit faster for me okay, make sure we have it right and basically from there we'll have that part right we'll have that section completed as we see that part that part there then we'll do the big text the big gray text and this will be the last one I'm going to do for now and then I'm going to um, basically fast forward through all this right here so you guys can see it and then um, we're going to end it off right there. So let's clone this one over. I'm going to do dark gray. Dark gray text and then basically we just go to see what this one is. Cancel out of this. Go into this one and basically it's the same all the changes that this is 40 pixels so that's basically um really how how you have to worry about and go back and doing this right here um basically we do this through all the sections and doing a naming convention right here i'm going to go through and create the whole rest of this right here um so so basically everyone we have this right here um but i'm going to create this right here and then I want you guys to um, basically match your, what you have in the next video up with what I have as we go through and we do the colors. So um, if you, since you should have the point right now, we can go through the rest of this right here and do all the rest. But basically each section, we're going to do the same exact thing. This takes a little bit more time in doing it right here. But if you get a good system, you can run through it as fast as possible. And you can knock this out and get all these together. And specifically, when if you created it, you can already start creating this list right here before you even start so you know exactly what you want to do and you can be able to use these classes when creating your fonts and everything like that so it goes as fast as possible so um that's what we're gonna do we're gonna leave off right here but in the next video um, i'm gonna walk you guys through um how to get the colors out of photoshop and get colors out of photoshop elements so you can have those and then also too we're gonna go through how to get how to export um the images as well um add in a video after that so i'll see you guys in the next video Oh, 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 oh,